We're here in the giant clubhouse with Elliot Ramos. All right, I'm at, I'm watching the game a couple years ago in the Cactus League, mm -hmm. pre-pandemic. Giants, Indians, I think. You're up, you hit a bolt of lightning out to right center for a home run. Right, se left center? Uh, left center, right center, I thought it was I right think Colorado, center. I don't think it's Colorado. It was a night game. Yeah. It was a Colorado. Colorado yeah. and, and, I, and I joked about it. I said, man, that was a stream of milk. And people were just laughing on the radio because I, because I called it a stream of milk. Um, but, man, you, you could put a charge into the baseball, man. 110, 112, 113. You hit it probably as hard as almost any guy in this room. What do you need to do to make that breakthrough, man? I feel like you're on the cusp of a phenomenal big league career. What do you need to do to make that next step? Produce, man. I just have to show up. Like, I have the talent. I have the talent. I have the tools. I have the work in every day. Like... Honestly, like I work hard. It's just like put a put that into like transfer that to the game if that makes sense. Yeah. Just like actually show out. I mean, last year was a bad season for me. Didn't really have a good season. So honestly, that's all that matters. I have to like put on a show if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. I love watching your game, man. Where do you feel most comfortable? You, I've seen you can play all three outfit spots, yeah. but do you like center? Do you like right? Where, where, where do you feel good? I love center and right. I'm, I feel pretty comfortable in those two like sides. Yeah. Who did you grow up rooting for? Who was your guy? Did you have a guy growing up as somebody like a big leaguer that you like really loved to watch? Aside from my brother. Yeah. Outside of your brother, yeah. McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. Yeah. Outfield, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was back in the day. McCutcheon was the deal, I think. Yeah. yeah. What's your what is your mindset? Are you thinking back through the middle? Or are you thinking get a pitch? Does it matter in the count? I mean, do you have a what's your plan when you step into the box? Said, uh, my plan is just Damn stay it. the fastball, hit the fastball. Honestly, yeah. uh, if I don't, if I think if I hit the fastball, I don't have to worry about like any breaking pitches or nothing like that. Obviously, at one point they're gonna throw all like sliders or curveballs or changeups, right? But if I stay with my plan and I stay consistent with what I know I can do, and it's hit the fastball, I'm pretty good. I hit any fuzzle that you throw me honestly it can be yeah. 98 100 it don't matter i'll hit it yeah so i just have to stay ready for it um what do you get a steady diet of like you said you struggled last year in the minor leagues and i saw the numbers i, I actually had a hard time believing that those were your numbers man because i really think you're that good of a player but what did they do to you last year what what kinds of how did they try to attack you were there any were there any patterns that you noticed uh with the team or with pitchers, opposing pitchers, how were they trying to? Were they uh, trying to steady honestly, the only thing, or? the only thing that was holding me back was my mind. Really? Yeah. Uh, the uh, I don't want to say negativity, but like my mind wasn't in the best place, like possible. You know what I mean? If I went over for twelve, I was going crazy already. Yeah. Instead of just keep riding and just keep like working towards like what I know I can do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there a guy in here, a veteran that that you can watch to help you at all, or is it everybody just? Everybody's independent, and there's nobody that you can like uh, kind of watch and get a good feel for. So, Bebo Perez, Roberto Perez, I'll yeah. talk to him a little bit. He Catcher. helped me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, Jack Peterson, talked to him for a lot, a lot too. Yeah. That's a good guy to like. I get a lot of information from them. Uh, who else? Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. What Those do you? Guys. What sports are you into besides baseball? I mean, do you? Are you a fan? Soccer. You're a soccer. I was really fan. good at soccer. When I was like growing up, like 12, 13. Really Your good premiership, at La Liga. What do you? What do you got? What do you got a team? Who's what? What? what uh, uh, I don't really have a team, but I, obviously I like Messi. Uh, yeah. Messi was my favorite player growing up. Yeah. And Barcelona for sure. How about NFL football, NBA basketball? Not really. Not, not really. really. Uh, NFL. DK Metcalf, maybe. Yeah. He's one of the guys that I like the most yeah. right now. NBA, uh, Kyrie Ir Irving and uh, John Morant. I All like right. them. I like them a lot. Yeah. yeah. These guys are fun to watch. Yeah. Where do you make your offseason home? Here. It was here this season. It, and is this? Normal? It was. It was. You've been in Puerto Rico. Yeah, it was back in Puerto Rico, but I kind of wanted to change a little bit, like uh, how you say that, uh, my comfort zone, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, since I didn't have a great season. I said to myself, I was like, I need to do something different, and I need to like work the right way. I want to feel like I'm working the right way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why I move out here. I was working with JV and uh, Papago and all this stuff, working with Nicholas Edman, mm -hmm. uh, lifting wise outside of the complex. And I feel like I had a pretty good routine. Was consistent. Was like mental wise, I was good for me. And yeah, I mean, I love Arizona. Arizona is pretty. Yeah, yeah I it's love nice. it. Yeah. It's nice. I love March in Arizona. Oh yeah. You, ball players know other ball players. That's my. I've always believed that. 
Give me, give me somebody, a young hitter or pitcher, in this system that you've seen that maybe we haven't seen that you're like, man, this guy is good. Is there a young player that the Art Giants? Diaga. I don't know if you know Art Diaga. The shortstop. Yeah, really. I mean, I haven't seen him play, but what's his first name? Arson or Art? I think so. Yeah, something yeah. like that. But I've seen him like practicing, like hitting, like. Oh, you like him as a hitter? Yeah, he's nice. He's really, really? good. Yeah, but the other one, Smitty. Casey. Smith. Really good hitter. I mean, it's, you don't see that often, honestly. Guys yeah. like that, yeah. 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 I saw him ride out a home run early in camp and went halfway up the bleachers, and it just looked easy. It's it easy the cops, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Those guys, they're they're clean. <laughs> they're yeah. nice. Yeah, they're good. What have they told you about about your year this year? Give me your what, what's your mindset in this camp? I mean, obviously you're trying to make the team, but if right. it doesn't happen, what do they talk to you about? What have you? Where do you think you'll start? Uh, I think personally, they haven't told me anything. Right. I mean, obviously, I'm just like you said, trying to make the team. Yeah. But me, I'm expecting to be in AAA. Yeah. Uh, I just wanna like show out. I wanna like produce in AAA, and once I produce in AAA. Then I can talk and I can feel like, okay, like, I deserve this, I deserve that, you know what I mean? But right now, like, I haven't earned that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I know, like, at least I, I recognize that, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a person that I, like, I, um, how can I say it? I see myself and I evaluate myself and I'm like, okay, what I'm doing wrong, what I'm not doing wrong, you know what I mean? Right. And if I'm not doing something, I'm super realistic and I'll, like, let it be known myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, that's all I want. Like, I want to produce in AAA and then after that, you know, stab uh, stabilize myself. What's your what's your support system off the field? Are you married? Mm -hmm. You got kids? You got family? I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend, yeah. And like, so uh, like, look, you're going to SAC, let's say, let's just say, uh, where the Giants AAA is. It's like, whose job is it to like make sure you can find a place to live? And is that the team helping you with I, it? Or I can help. I can I can ask for help you with can. the team, but I like looking up for myself. Yeah, I'm staying with Ison Diaz. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's my boy. Good. He's a player. Nice. He can he can rake. He is nice and defense. I haven't seen him play defense. You have to see him. Really? It's yeah. it's a show for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm staying with him, and uh, we are staying together. We were looking for apartments yesterday. He was on my on my place where I'm staying at. And we were just looking for our apartment, just talking. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. When you guys are sitting around away from the yard, do you talk ball or you talk soccer? You talk uh, life? Baseball. What, yeah, baseball. Life and baseball. Yeah. Really? Is, yeah, uh, my life is around baseball all day, every day. If you have a good day at the plate, do you carry that home? And if you have a bad day at the plate, do you carry that home? I mean, like, are you, are you sitting there going, oh, man. Miss that slider today, or can you leave the office at the office somewhat? Uh, it's hard, honestly. Yes, yeah. that's all I live for. That's all we live for. You know right, what I mean? Right. So it's like we talk it out, but it's not like I get in my head about it. You know what I mean? If I miss a slider, I'm like, damn, hey, like I was reaching with my front side. That's why I was collapsing with my backside, and that's why I was missing those pitches. So we talk like that, so we can make adjustments, like next day or like just up the cage or just make adjustment like the other day JV told me oh uh, you know you wasn't rotating the right way yesterday he told me that and he was like just work on it so you can like feel it and your stride don't make it too long just make it short and that's how I did it yeah I just worked I was like trying to keep my like my load uh, short and simple yeah and I went from there hey man I believe in you, man. It's gonna take some time, but appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna see you in San Francisco. I got Francisco. all the time in the world, honestly. We're gonna see you in San Francisco, and there's be kids walking around wearing Ramos jerseys. For sure, one day, yeah. yeah. For sure. Good luck to you, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you. you.